In today's video, I want to talk about this book called Barbie Fashion, The Complete History of the Wardrobes of Barbie Doll, Her Friends and Family, Volume 1, 1959-1967, by Sarah Sink Eames. This copy um, was from the early 90s, and it was put out by Collector Books. And the values were updated in 1994. This is an excellent, excellent resource. The um, it's the chapters are divided up by years, and as you can see, you have incredible detail. You'll have a picture of what was issued, and then you'll have a little write up to the left of it, um, or to the right of it, um, to give you some background on the information. You'll have the, the number, and it's just, it came to, I was at the thrift, this was a few years ago, and I, they were having a good sale on hardcover books, so I picked this one out to be part of the, the pile, thinking I'd just resell it and it was looked like it had barely ever been used and so it was in beautiful condition but then the more i looked at it the more i realized this is exactly what i would need and i would use when i acquired a, a case of barbie items and to trying to id them and trying to find um yeah, what goes with what, and I always find that if you can come up with this, the name of the set that the Barbie outfit came with, and the ID number and the year, it works much better for your um, your listings. It will work. I think you'll be able to ask for um, you know a premium price because you've already ID'd it, and you'll also get to. If you know the real name of it, when you research, you'll see, is it a very common item and how many are on, how much they're selling for, versus just saying that you have a red and blue dress. And the reason, the other thing I like about this, this book, um, besides it helps you ID the stuff and the, the little pieces that you no should go with something but you really don't or are they truly barbie because not everything you can has the label um the other thing that's really good about this is that it has um barbie's friends it has all the stuff barbie made uh mattel made but also it has um like the sears exclusives and so those are sometimes can be harder to to identify because um, because they can be. There are websites out there and they will come in handy too. But what I like about the book is that if I'm looking at this and then in, the, I want to go, oh, I just saw another piece to that, this outfit three pages back or something. I can go and turn three pages back and look. Sometimes when I'm trying to do that, when I'm researching on the internet, it's like, wow, what website was that from um and then then i end up um it can get a little frustrating because i you're just in this rabbit hole with you know 20 open pages on the internet and and it's like which which site was that from or you know that plaid shirt or whatever um and the other thing too with little things like shoes a lot of times i just find it easier to compare the shoes that I have in my hand to the sh shoes in a photograph in a book than on the computer screen. I think the after a while my, my eyes on the computer screen when I'm trying to ID Barbie stuff, it, they just get a little um, worn out. Um, but this is a really fun, um, it's a really fun book, and the other thing that's really nice about it is she does have some pictures of the packaging, which is always a great blast from the past to see, and the accessories. And in the back, there's an index to the 
prices and what page they're on. And again, um, this was really before um, the internet became commonplace. So I really don't pay attention to the prices in the price guides. I pretty much look at um, completed listings to see what they're going for. And then you look to see what people are asking for them. And then also you look to figure out how much money you have tied up into it so that you, you know, you have to make your, you, you want to make a profit, but um, how much money am I going to to ask for this this price uh, this this item um, that I'm making a profit on and then do I want to flip it fast or you know it all it's so subjective and um, or if you're just looking to work on completing your collection and it's just this is a great book there is a volume two out there which one of these days I will find out in um, I'll find, I'm sure I'll come across it and anyways I just wanted to share that with you today because it's real it's been a real time saver having this book but even if you didn't want to keep it for your own it's just a good book to keep an eye out for because it does have a good a really um, decent uh, resale value so I want to thank you for stopping by and I hope you this was helpful to you and have a good day and if you uh, enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and subscribe but until next time have a good one thank you